Hello there, mate. How we doing? I'm out for a walk with the Ramblers today. Doncaster Ramblers. Uh, we're starting from North Ferriby, near Hull, Kingston upon Hull. Uh, I parked up right beside the River Humber. The bloody river is right up, and I think the walk leader was planning on walking along the uh, Wolds Way to start with. Uh, but the river, the path is under the river somewhere. <laughs> so unless he's got a plan B, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So yeah, I haven't been out with the Ramblers for a few weeks, so I'll make a nice change. Uh, where are we going? Well, I know we start at North Therapy and we're visiting the village of Welton. That's all I know. Uh, it's a nice little village. It's a pub there. That's where we're going to have our uh, lunch break, lunch stop, sandwiches. And there's a pub there, as I say, so no doubt I'll be having a pint at dinner time. You can guarantee that. You can see the Humber Bridge over there. I'll show you in a bit. Yeah, North Therapy. What do I know of North Therapy? Oh, it's famous for a in the 1940s, a local lad found an old boat here. Some old planks sewn together in the mud, just down here somewhere. Uh, turned out they were Bronze Age. It was a Bronze Age boat. He found three in the end. Yeah, Bronze Age boat. Uh, turned out that it was the oldest boat to be found in the whole of Europe. Uh, the only place where they found old, older craft is uh, Egypt. So yeah, it was a Bronze Age boat. In those days it would have all been swamp around here, along the, the Humber. It's a bloody great river, the Humber. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, he found three in the end. What a find, eh? The oldest craft in Europe. Yeah. The Humber. It's a massive river, isn't it? Uh, the, the catchment area for the Humber. All the water covers all of Yorkshire and the River Trent, the River Ouse. In fact, I think it covers 20% of the whole of the English countryside. The water comes through here comes down the Ouse and the Trent and the Don and the loads of other rivers and comes through the Humber. Yeah, so a couple of interesting little facts there before we set off. There's nobody else here yet. Well, there's one bloke here. Dave, Dave the Hat is here. He's always first. I'm 45 minutes early and I thought, cool, I'm going to be first here today, but he still beat me. He's always here first, Dave the Hat. Uh, nobody else here yet. I might have a cup of coffee or that before everybody else gets here. So yeah, it's going to be a good walk. You can come along with us. We'll show you what we things we few things we see along the way. But how he's going to get down now? I don't know. With that bloody river being up. Right. I'll bring you back when we get started. I'm gonna have a little cup of coffee now. Might even have a snooze for half an hour. See you in a bit.
lovely, isn't it? Made it to Welton. This is St Helen's Church. Let's get a bit of shelter here. Everybody's sitting eating their sandwiches, drinking their tea. I'm just having a look around. Don't want to miss anything, do you? Beautiful church, beautiful village pond, view of the church, lovely. But there's one more place that I'm more interested in going. That's the pub. The Green Dragon. I'll show you the Green Dragon when we get there. Come on. Lovely place. So here we have the Green Dragon pub. It's not just any old pub. This is the pub where in 1730 something Dick Turpin was arrested in this pub uh, and he was sent to York where he was later hanged for horse thieving and I think when he was uh, arrested it was for stealing somebody's game cock or something like that. Whatever it was, it's gone, gone down in history. So yeah, so this is the Green Dragon. Let's go in shall we, and see what, uh, see what they got to offer. <laughs> 